Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's first question is which of the following scenarios is an example of homology? In order to answer this question and choose the correct answer, you have to know the difference between homology and homoplasy. Homology is a term that specifies that a character is shared by two species due to recent common ancestor and term homoplasy specify situation when two unrelated species have developed the same characters due to being in the same environment and under same environmental pressures. So let's analyze from starting from D, the wings of birds and pets. This is going to be example of homoplasy. Birds and bats do not share recent common ancestors and any similarities in their wings is only due to performing the same functions. Variant C, the wings of insects and bats, also as you see, they do not share recent common ancestors and this is also going to be example of homoplasy. Variant B, the fins of the dolphins and cyclid fish, so dolphins are mammals and cyclid fish is a fish, they don't share recent common ancestor, those both live in uh, water, so they share the same environment and under the same environmental pressure, they develop the same structures, which similar in appearance, but are not due to recent shared common ancestor. And variant A, the hair present on the body of the chimpanzees and men, would be example of homology, because both chimpanzees and men has recent common ancestor that had hair. So chimpanzees and humans got this trait from our recent common ancestor. So this is example of homology. And next question, what's the difference between cladogram and phylogram? Take a look at this picture. One specify cladogram, another phylogram. Let's take a look how they are different. Both have clade with a species A and B, C and D, and we see the same here and recent common ancestor here. So here is the names and here is my explanation what is the difference. The difference would be in the length of these branches. In phylogram we see not only relationship between species just like in cladogram, but also on phylogram, when we look on the phylogram, we know which events came first. For example, the speciation even came first before this one. But here we cannot tell this difference. So this phylogram shows relationship between species, but also in connection with the time. Sometimes you can see that these two terms can be used interchangeably, but at least now you know the difference. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.